vlog. It's week three of my PhD, second of these PhD vlogs, and I'm back in the office. It's Monday morning, and the office is roasting. Like, ugh, definitely heating on way too high, but I can't do anything about it because, like, the, the controls of the radiator are stuck in the back there. Hello, if you're new, hi, I'm Thomas. I am in my third week of my PhD in astrophysics at Cardiff University, and this is another week in my life. Today is Monday, and because of the way the rota has worked out, I'm actually not going to get to do any science today, because, um... So Mondays are the day that I do lab demonstrations. This is a thing that graduate students like me, PhD students, can do to earn a little bit more money than our stipend gives us. Now I work in a second year physics computing lab, so I'm working with second year students, helping them learn how to code for physics. So. A lot of it is fairly basic programming, things like um, functions and how to plot stuff properly and that sort of thing. So I'm helping out with that and the way the roads worked out today, I have both the morning session, so three hours in the morning and then three hours in the afternoon. So Monday is always going to be a complete write-off from the science perspective. In the next half hour, I intend to make myself a cup of tea and then I want to go through the lab notebook for today, just to remind myself what's in today's sessions for them. <laughs> End of the day, I'm back. I have done practically no science today. So, sorry, I'm now in complete abject darkness. Um, will it catch up? Now I'll just put the lights on. Hey, we have light. So, it's the end of Monday, and I appreciate I have not done very much vlogging at all today. And I apologize, but that's just kind of kind of be the thing for Mondays for at least some of these weeks. But now, I need to make dinner, and then this evening, I have some Scottish country dancing. Scholar was 78, but the PCP made her fight like she was. Good morning, folks. Well, it's Tuesday. I'm working from home today. Um, basically, the way that I'm kind of choosing to do my PhD at the minute is that I'm doing three days in the office Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And Tuesdays and Thursdays, the plan is to be working from home and I'll, like, I guess, like, go on Zoom to go into any meetings that are needed and occasionally I'll need to go in on these days but it's not a consistent thing. This is one of the good things about doing a PhD, you have the choice of where you want to work when. I'm trying to do some science, specifically trying to do some plotting. So not, not nefarious plotting. I'm having a go at trying to plot these different properties against each other. I'm working for some example scripts my supervisor gave me and seeing yeah, how I get on with that. Well that was a waste of time. I spent two hours on this thing for the doctoral academy at Cardiff University and it's just like we've been told all this stuff like either you've been told it during like the induction in the school of physics or you've been told about other PhD students and it's like talking about your supervisor relationship like I have other PhD students in my group they've told me all this stuff I'm hungry I need lunch <laughs> Right, lunch had and I also attended the group meeting for the Astro Group, so a couple of talks given by some guys that are giving talks at an event in Cardiff called Astronomy on Tap. This is an outreach thing that happens once a month. The theme for this one is cosmology, which is not really my area, but you know, it was a general science talk. Now I'm going to get on with some science. I'm going to try and figure out how I'm plotting some stuff, improve the plots so that I can get it all a little bit nicer. Okay, we're at the end of the day, and I've actually managed to do some science today. I've been, well, science, it counts. So this is the first plot we're dealing with. So what we've got here is a plot of temperature versus metallicity. So temperature is temperature, and we've got a log scale here. So this is like 1,000 Kelvin, 10,000, 100,000, a million, and so on. And then this is metallicity just as a fraction of the total gas mass, metallicity being the mass of anything that isn't hydrogen or helium. Astronomers are weird with that. And then the colours are to do with gas mass. So basically what we're seeing is that cooler gas, gas further down the temperature scale, tends to be at a higher metallicity. Going further down, I then plotted metallicity, so anything that's not hydrogen or helium, against like hydrogen density to see if it was like coupled to it or anything. But essentially, no, we have a completely flat feature here. So 
essentially there is pretty much no dependence on hydrogen density, density of neutral hydrogen for metallicity. And then this is my latest attempt at a plot. I'm trying to do a multi-plot with the idea being that I can plot it for a load of different time steps and then create a video, like a little animation GIF type thing. Um, Currently, it's partially working. This one will be pressure once I figure out how to load pressure out of the data. So that's where I'm at on work today. Now it's time to turn off the big filming light that you can see a bit of a reflection of here and my shadow behind. The one that's giving me reasonable lighting in here, considering it's half past five. And go and do dinner, I think. Then, go to dance class. Mondays and Tuesdays we do dancing both days. Um, it's Scottish country dancing, which a couple of clips from last night, maybe some more this evening. Scottish country dancing is something I've done for years. It's a social dance form that um, sort of originated in Scotland, but has been spread everywhere else, including South Wales. There are classes here, um, so we go along to them. It's not quite as lively as the student classes we used to run in St Andrews, but you know, more young people need to do Scottish country dancing. Find out if there's a group near you. Try it out, please, please. <laughs> um, right, dinner, dancing and then I think I'll be going to bed. Okay, I'm a human peanut. It's already half past eight. I'm still in the house. I should be at work. Well, I should be leaving now, and I've only just had a shower. Yeah, I slept in. <laughs> Sorry, I'm an absolutely awful at vlogging today and <clears throat> I'm starting to get a slightly scratchy throat. So apologies if there's not so much talking today. Yeah, so it's now uh, nearly two o'clock. We've had the Cosmo Sims group meeting. This is the group that I'm in. We work on cosmological simulations, hence the name. Um, it's been interesting. We've got a bit of advice on some of the plots that I've been trying to do. And it's good to hear what everyone else has been working on. One of the guys in the group is getting really close to finishing off a paper, which is exciting. Um, and yeah, after that, I uh, got a couple of admin -y things sorted to try to fix a bit more of my plotting and then went off to the postgrad lectures. So as a first year postgraduate student, there are a lot of lectures that we have to go to as part of our ongoing training. Had lunch after that, I was starving. Like that, Normally we go for lunch at like half past 12 in the department and that lecture went from 12 to one. So yeah, I didn't get lunch until a bit later and I was very hungry. Now it is just about time for the Astro Seminar. So this is a weekly thing where a speaker from outside the university, outside this department, comes and does a talk, either through Zoom or in person. I actually don't know if this one's in person or on Zoom, but this week's talk is... what is it on? This week's talk is on radio astronomy of active galactic nuclei. Now I'm a simulation person, but AGN is an important aspect of galaxy evolution. Um, so having a better understanding of what's going on there is always good. So I'll go along, I'll pay attention for a bit and when they lose me, because that often happens in these talks, because they start off like general and then they funnel down so only experts really understand it. When I get lost, I may switch to trying to fix my code. <laughs> So soaked. Also, I've discovered, as you can see here, turns out my um, the zip of my jacket isn't 100% waterproof. The rest of the afternoon was good work-wise. I got some of my plots working. So my neutral hydrogen density is working, my temperature is working, my metallicity is working. I got pressure plotting, but it turns out I'm calculating pressure slightly wrong. The aim here is to create like five plots for each snapshot, each moment in time in the simulation, and then to do that for all of the simulation snapshots and put them all into like a little video, a little GIF. So that's the plan. After I finished up work for today, before I came home, we, um, we'd have like, typically it's Cake Thursday. This is Wednesday, you'll notice. Uh, one of the postdocs is leaving soon and he's not here tomorrow or Friday. Um, so he was doing cake, uh, cake in inverted commas. Today, it wasn't cake, it was bread and nice cheesies. He's French and brought a lot of French cheesies. So that was nice. I had too much cheese. It's always good to spend a bit of time with the other PhD students, get to know them. Uh, it's a really nice group of the department. Right, I'm gonna get changed out of soaking wet clothes and then make dinner. Just to be clear, I'm not letting you guys see me get changed. Also, yeah, darkness, hi. 
Hello darkness, my old friend. Wow, the camera cannot deal with that at all. Turns out it was actually just my t-shirt and my socks that were soaked. Um, my trousers seem to be mostly fine. They're a little cold more than damp, I think. Yes, the lighting's got a lot better in here. So I've had dinner um, and the reason the lighting's got a lot better in here is because I've got not one, not two, but three lights on in here. <laughs> It's almost time to stream. Well, not quite. I've got about 40 minutes to work on, to work on the, the research and possibly the script if I get there, probably not. Working on the research for my new video about I've got time to work on that before I get started on the stream, but I'm gonna set the stream up just now. So for those who don't know, I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Tom Astro Psy. Link is on the screen right now and in the description below. Please come join us on the, on the streams. I really enjoy streaming and I would love for more people to be there. So it's good fun. I'm generally aiming to do a Wednesday evening, Thursday morning for a study stream. And I'm gonna try and get a stream on a Tuesday as well, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get the stream set up so that I can get to basically half past seven and then just start the stream without needing to do the setup then. I'll see you probably tomorrow. Okay, I know I said that I was gonna see you all tomorrow, but I just had one of the best dreams ever. We were playing Star Trek Infinite, hence the Star Trek jacket. Oh, that was so good. Like I've never had consistently that many viewers all at the same time. Like genuinely, that was awesome. For those who don't know, Star Trek Infinite is a game made by Paradox. It's a grand strategy game based in Star Trek universe. It's kind of like Stellaris with the Star Trek skin on it. I can't wait to do that again. It was also really nice just having a lot of people in chat and having chat being really active. For the first time ever, chat was actually a bit hard to follow. Uh, I say the first time ever, for the first time ever for a continuous amount of time. That was such a good stream. Right, I'm really tired and I don't know if you can tell, my voice is getting scratchy. So I'm gonna go to bed. Night, folks. Uh, afternoon. It turns out that that scratchy throat last night was not just uh, over talking. I. I'm feeling a bit ugh today, but it's fine. I've taken the morning off, just I slept in and I've taken a bit of time to feel a bit more myself, shall we say. I'm not gonna go to Crits tonight, which is what I had planned to do. Crits being the society that does like Warhammer and stuff like that. I was meant to play a game tonight, but I've postponed that because I'm just, I don't feel like dragging myself into town and back again today. Plan is for today that I'm gonna do a little bit of stuff just now, get sort of prepared for the rest of the day, figure out what I'm gonna manage or at least try to do today. Then I've got a meeting at one, which is in about 40 minutes, with people from my CDT. So my CDT called AMLAC, it's a center for doctoral training. Basically you get a load of you get a lot of other training stuff around the PhD. But one of the things we have as part of this CDT is like a group project where we like we developed like a machine learning program, which is interesting. And I'm gonna have to learn a lot about machine learning because I know nothing. But I got a meeting at one where we're essentially just passionate about the logistics of how we're gonna do stuff. I am tired. Right. Um. Okay, lunch had, back up in my office. Again, working from home. Do my books? I need more books. I do not have enough books. I do however have, I don't know if you can see it, just there, I have a model of the USS Enterprise D, which is fun. Plan for this afternoon. I'm gonna fix this pressure calculation and replot what I plotted yesterday. Then I'm gonna try and figure out how to plot radial velocities and then plot them and then do a lot of plotting for a lot of different snapshots. I'm feeling slightly more human but I'm still not exactly well. I'm glad I've canceled going to crits tonight because ugh, I can't face dragging myself out. Also, the weather today is a bit awful. It's got like a red weather warning in Scotland. It's not as bad here. It's just been really wet, but I don't really want to cycle into town and back. I am still kind of reeling from last night's stream. Like I looked at the stream summary for the stream of Star Trek Infinite last night over on Twitch. And like the average viewership was 10 viewers over the course of a three hour stream. That never happens. To give you a bit of context, my typical study streams are sitting at like sort of four. Space Engineers was five last week. Uh, the week before that, it was four. My maximum viewers was then at 14, which is pretty good for me without a raid coming in. Um, and unique viewers being 46 is way higher than normal, nearly double normal. I like Twitch, Twitch is fun. I wanna use it more for science, I just haven't quite figured out 
how that's going to happen and when that's going to happen in my week. I need to work on that. But yeah, let's get this pressure calculation working and try and get this plotting stuff done. Okay, so good news, I got my plotting working so far, part of it. We ignore this, this is not actually what I think it is. But everything else works, we've got it in the nice inferno colour scheme, which I really like, uh, and has the advantage of being perceptually uniform, so good for your colour blindness. What we've got is this is the density of neutral hydrogen, um, so you get your ga galactic disk, and then you can see quite a lot of neutral hydrogen around the, gal around the galactic disk, and then it's way less dense over here, like an order of magnitude difference between this dark purple and sort of the lighter purple. Then we move on to temperature, and what we're actually finding is the under dense bits, the bits that are really dark here, are really bright here. They're like some of the hottest areas in the entire uh, galaxy simulation, obviously it's a wee bit hotter in the middle. Then we're looking at metallicity and what we're finding is most of our metals, which is anything other than hydrogen or helium, because astronomers think of metals weirdly, um, almost all of it's in the middle or along these what look like fairly big outflows that have happened. And then pressure, highest pressure in the middle of the galaxy, lowest pressure in these sort of denser filament structures, and then this, don't look at this. We, we, we don't look at that, it's not working yet. Five panel plot, good. Good, kinda. This needs fixed. In what appears to be becoming a fairly common occurrence today, I'm back in the kitchen. And that's because it is, you know, nearly dinner time and I need to cook. I'm also gonna be cooking, so I'm cooking tonight. Um, this isn't a cooking channel now, but I don't know. It's one of the more interesting things I'm doing today. Um, I'm cooking a beef stir fry using like thin beef steaks and stuff. Uh, this is gonna be like dinner tonight, but also my lunch tomorrow. Gonna, we've got like, there's not enough beef in the in half the packet, realistically, for two people's worth of beef in a stir fry. But it's too much for all of it, but there's probably enough there for like three portions, so that's the plan. You know, despite the fact that today didn't get off to the best start of me being like under the weather, I'm still kind of happy with what I've got done. Like I've got my pressure calculations working. I haven't figured out radial velocity yet. Like I know to do it mathematically. I just can't quite figure out how to get it to work with how the data is saved from the simulation. Fortunately, I have my supervisor meeting tomorrow morning. So the plan is, once I've stopped talking to you guys, I'm going to make dinner, watch a new episode of Star Trek Lower Decks, do a bit of research on the video, and then... Uh, what's the thing after that? Oh yeah, then I'm going to play some games. <laughs> and then read and have an early night. That's the plan for the rest of the day. I would kind of just like to curl up in a ball and play some video games now, but food plus Star Trek plus... I really need to get the research done on that video so I can get it written, filmed and edited. In other news though, the first vlog in this series went out on YouTube yesterday, and as of right now, it is sitting at... 263 views with 21 likes, four comments, uh, an average view duration of about six minutes and a click through rate of 4.3%. And honestly, I'm really happy with that. I'm glad it's done so well, honestly. Like, I, want, <laughs> I wanted that video to do well um, because it kind of justifies making more of these. And like, I know that 263 views does not sound like very much, but compared to what I've been putting out recently, that's really good. <laughs> And considering I want to be moving away from doing, like, this is how you do well in exams, this is how you do well in a physics degree, all that sort of stuff. That's not the point of this channel. I'm glad it's done well, because I want to share this stuff with you guys, and I really need a better filming angle. But yeah, I'm, I'm so glad it's done well. So if you watched the last one, thank you very much for watching it. And thank you for watching this one so far through. Anyway, I make dinner. I'll see you all probably tomorrow. Good morning, it's Friday and <coughs> yeah, my voice is still a bit, um, yeah, not great, but I'm okay. I'm back in the office today, um, a bit under the weather, but I need to be in today. So at 10 o'clock this morning, I have my supervisor meeting. I have one of these every week, so this is gonna be a regular occurrence and it's essentially an opportunity for me to talk through what I've done in the last week, get some help on things I'm still stuck with and figure out what I'm doing next and ask for sort of advice on things. So this week is gonna kind of be, well, I've got these plots. One of these things doesn't work yet, so help, please. And then it's been a bit of a talk about, right, what am I trying to do next? I'd like to get set up to actually run some simulations rather than just analyzing data from existing ones. And I guess at some point, I'm probably gonna be asked the question of, 
So what do you want your first paper to be? And I have a vague idea, but I'm not entirely sure. So in the next sort of hour, I need to get myself a cup of tea because I haven't had one this morning. And fortunately there is like a little kitchenette on this floor. Um, but I'm gonna get myself some tea and then I'm gonna get to work sort of pulling everything together and trying to figure out why I'm having issues calculating radial velocity. But this work is not the only thing that's happening today and it's, the, it's not the reason that I came in to work today. I could have messaged my supervisor and said, can we do our meeting on Zoom? The reason I've come in today is because we're having a talk from Professor Duncan Lorimer, I think that's the right name, who is the most recent winner, I think the most recent winner? He's a winner of the Shaw Prize for Astronomy for the discovery of fast radial bursts. And the school is having a school-wide colloquium, which is like a, a lecture everyone's invited to. So that's undergrads, postgrads, staff, everyone. Because um, he's coming to give a talk about the discovery of fast radio bursts. Fast radio bursts are, as they sound, bursts of radio emission that don't last very long, hence they are fast. They last anywhere from like a fraction of a millisecond all the way up to like maybe three seconds-ish. And they were discovered back in 2007 by Duncan Lorimer and his student at the time whose name escapes me. But it's only this year, 2023, which was that, 16 years later, that they've been recognized for the Shaw Prize in astronomy. Astronomers don't win a Nobel Prize in astronomy, they win a Nobel Prize in physics if they win it. The Shaw Prize has like three different categories, one of which is astronomy. The other ones are mathematical sciences and life sciences. Very much a science prize, unlike the Nobels, which also have like literature and peace. And uh, there's the economics one, which isn't a Nobel Prize, but it's awarded by the Nobel Committee. Anyway, he won the Shaw Prize for this discovery and he's coming to give a talk this afternoon. So that's the real reason I've dragged myself in today. So I can attend that talk. But right now I'm gonna stop talking because I can already feel that my throat is gonna complain soon. I'm gonna go and get myself a cup of tea and then get ready with figuring out what it is that I'm doing today, aside from my supervisor meeting and that talk. I really hope I win a Shaw Prize at some point. Or a Nobel would be even better. <laughs> it's not likely. Now, it's a well-known fact that spoons do not exist in this kitchen. However, what's this? It's a teaspoon. Amazing. So fast forward a few hours, it is now about 10 to 2 and I'm getting there. I had a really productive meeting with my supervisor this morning, we went through some of the plots that I was having issues with and she helped me figure out how to calculate radial velocity with how it's saved. Um, turns out I was really close, I just hadn't, I just missed like having to do a dot product essentially. We have plots that look somewhat sensible now, which is more than we had before. But these are the plots. I've zoomed them out a lot more from where they were yesterday. So rather than like, if you look at the x-axis here, rather than being like between minus 100 and 100 kiloparsecs, they're now out to minus 400 to 400. My dark matter halos are really huge. They're like uh, 10 to the 13 solar masses, so 10 times the mass of the Milky Way halo. There's a lot going on in there but it looks how we should expect it to. My next job is to get this working on a loop. So to run it through different time steps of a simulation and produce images from that. And then I'm gonna try and put them into a video. I'm hoping that by the time we get to maybe half past two, I've got everything looping and it's running through everything and we can be well on the way to making that video. I expect it's gonna take a while to run the loop because it's a lot of data to compress into like an image. Aside from that, we're gonna try and read some new archive papers. These are like preprint papers, so they've not been like peer reviewed yet, but they're like in the peer review process. So just as an idea of what's coming up soon. And yeah, I might try and re-familiarize myself with how some of the fluid equations work. Right, I'm gonna get on with finishing up this bit of code and then trying to get all the rest of my work done before half past three, where we have that like coffee with the guy giving the talk. It's a Saturday morning and I don't know if you can hear it, but I, I certainly feel like death warmed up today. Um, I'm coming down with something and to be honest, I'm kind of past the point of trying to be on camera. The rest of yesterday was good. We had the uh, colloquium talk, which was interesting. Definitely not my subject area, but interesting nonetheless. Went to the pub after, which was good fun. I have not slept well and I'm feeling a bit rough. Not from alcohol, 
purely from like I am actually ill now. So I'm gonna call the vlog here. Thank you for watching. Apologies that I'm having to cut it short. If you enjoyed this vlog, then please do like, comment, subscribe, share it with somebody else. And I'll see you in a couple of weeks for the next one. Keep an eye out for new videos coming up on the channel. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video and then a couple of weeks for the next vlog. See ya.